Hi guys, this is Hackridge. In previous video, we did a simple buffer overflow attack and we learned how to override the return address and we called the Hackridge function and we got a shell, right? So in this video, let's increase the complexity of the exercise a little bit and let's learn how to call the function along with passing the function parameter. So this is different for 32-bit machine and 64-bit machine and let's learn how to do that utilizing a buffer overflow vulnerability. So let's get started. The vulnerable code is similar from the previous video, but here we made a little bit modification uh, in hackage function. We introduced the two function parameter a and b. Uh, this system function only called when a is exactly equal to 16 and b is exactly equal to 21. Both are written in a hexadecimal. Okay. So now in in previous video we called the hackage function. That's it. We didn't pass any function parameter, right? So here we need to pass the function parameter in the sense we need to push the parameter to the stack before calling the hackage function. So passing a parameter is completely different for 32-bit machine code and 64-bit machine code. So in 32-bit machine code, parameter will be pushed into stack. In 64-bit machine code, a parameter will be loaded into register. So there will be a certain register. It, the parameter will be loaded into that particular register. So let's start with the 32-bit machine code, then let's move to 64-bit machine code. So this is the resultant stack frame for hackage function, right? So whenever there is a function call, first it will push the parameter to the stack, then it will push the return address, and then it will push the EBP, then it will allocate the memory for local variable. So this is we discussed in a first video. And uh, this was the payload we used to uh, exploit the buffer overflow vulnerability in a previous video, right? So we overwrote the return address by hackage function address and whenever full function completes the execution, uh, control flow goes to this address, hackage function address and execute the code present in that address. So whenever full function completes its execution, so this memory will be deallocated by the compiler, right? So this memory will be deallocated and it will call the hackage function. So, if you look at the assembly code of hackage function, so uh, here I'm using a GDB. So, if this is the assembly code for a hackage function. So, if you look at the first line, uh, it will push the EBP to the stack. And next three line is to allocate the memory for a local variable present in a hackage function. These four lines, first four line called function prolog. This is not particular to hackage function. In every function there will be function prolog where it will push the EBP to the stack and then it will allocate the memory for local variable in the function. So there is something called function epilog. In epilog it will deallocate the memory which is allocated in prolog. Okay. So rest of the code is function logic. So now so in function prolog it will push the EBP to the stack then it will allocate the memory for local variable. So if you look at these two and these two, this is exactly same. So the pushing EBP and allocating the memory will be done in function prolog. So pushing parameter and pushing return address will be done before calling the function. So parameter and return address should be included in our payload. So payload should look something like this and here our previous payload. So when foo function completes its execution, this memory will be deallocated and it will call the hackage function. So in hackage function prolog, it will push the EBP and then it will allocate the memory for local variable right so this is uh, exactly looks like this right and a function parameter parameter b and parameter a is already included in the stack now compiler will access those parameter a and parameter b and execute the function logic 
So now we understood how to pass the parameter to the stack utilizing the buffer overflow vulnerability in 32 bit machine. And let's write the payload use, using Python. So, and we discussed how to find out the length of the padding and uh, address of the hackage function using GDB in previous video. So I'm not going to explain it again. Find out it yourself and keep it ready. Let's build the payload. So here I already found the padding and address of the hackage function. So let's import the pound tool from pound import star and let's create the process process give the name of the executable file which is 132 and let's receive the string which is written by this executable file p dot receive let's run it let's say python exploit yeah we got the string uh, give me your input and let's build the payload first one is padding uh, padding is uh, 52 byte long and then back bridge function this e32 and address of the package function right So let's send this payload. Uh, let's see we are able to call the hackridge function or not. So let's say p dot send line and padding plus hackridge, right? And let's print out whatever the character we receive after sending the payload to the process. Okay. p dot clean. Let's run this Python file. Python exploit.py. Yeah, we received the string you are loop. So if you look at the vulnerable code, so we received this string, right? That means we called the hackage function. So now we need to add the parameter in our payload. So let's do that. First, we will add the A then we will add the b okay so if you look at the this payload uh, we need to add return address parameter a and parameter b right so what is the return address this return address tells that after completing the hackage function where control flow should go so in in our case it is not required to fill a valid address in this return address field we can fill any dummy uh, address so that doesn't matter okay let's add the return address in our code so return address 32 byte right so let's say it's 0x and we need to give parameter a parameter a what is the value of parameter a which is 0 x 10 and what is the value of parameter b it is 0 x 15 So let's send this payload. Uh, let's include this return address and both parameter in our payload. Return plus param a plus param b. So let's send this payload and let's see what we receive. Uh, Python spread of py. Uh, we got the string hack that means we are successfully called the hackage function and we are able to execute the code inside this so we didn't got the cell because this process is that so for that we need to use a uh, interactive function let's use that p dot interactive 
let's run the code yeah now we got the shell so this is how we can pass the parameter to the uh, function uh, utilizing the buffer overflow vulnerability so this is in uh, 32 bit executable file uh, in next video let's understand how to pass the parameter in uh, 64 bit executable file so until then stay tuned like the video and subscribe the channel